Now, in this lesson, we are going to talk about personas. You might have heard this name before if you are a UI designer or UX designer. Now, a lot of people think that it is a real user, but instead it is actually a fictitious user and uh, we don't use uh, the real image of the user. For example, I went to an interview and I took photo of my user and then I paste it in my personas. This is wrong. We are going to use just a fake image and the name must also be fake but the but all the other information will be will not be fake it will be real now it actually tells what are the behaviors what are the goals what are what are the triggers behind those goals of your users because these this is very necessary you need to know and understand your users better what are their behaviors how they act with different technologies and all this stuff now, normally we get all the information from our personas in user interviews. So we, you know, we all, uh, we extract all the information from there, from the user interviews and put and create a persona based on that. Now, I recommend that you should use at least three personas, one to three personas. Normally, it is very rare that you um, just hit only one type of persona. So actually... Uh, there is another topic that is coming to my mind, which is uh, user archetype or user archetype, whatever you call it. So actually persona is actually one type of user. For example, I have, um, for example, I have a website that uh, gives me different, uh, you can say different deals. Okay. So it is a deals website that give me all the discounted deals uh, online. So there might be Two different types of users for that so there will be two different personas one is a normal home user for example i want few t-shirts for me and i uh, saw uh, a bulk t-shirt deal over there that five t-shirts for twenty dollars and i'm going to buy it okay so there is one type of person like this there could be another persona another type of user that is going to uh, buy in bulk and he is going to sell on his shop. So he has a shop. He has a clothing shop or store. And he is going to buy all different uh, stuff in bulk that he can get from uh, that deals website. And in another season or maybe next season, he is going to store it. And he is going to, uh, you know, sell it uh, on some other rates. So there could, so we can make one persona for the home user. And we are going to name it home user and the second one will be seller so so these are different types of personas you are looking for now the second question is why do we need personas why creating these personas why should we have these so the first thing is that we want our design team our development team to have some empathy with our users they need to know what are the pains of our users what are the goals and the personality of the user who is going to use their product so these personas, they are printed and they are hanged in front of design teams and development teams so they can better align uh, their uh, user goals with their product. So this is going to, you know, give them a, a shared path that our user is going to need these. So we are building this for this type of user. So this is very important. You might have heard about uh, personas, but you might not have heard about work roles you are developing a product or an e-commerce store for the users, primarily your buyers, and you are making personas for them. But don't forget about the work roles. Work roles are actually different interesting parties that are linked to your product. For example, uh, in this uh, example, I, we are creating Frogland store. So our buyers, which are actually our users, we have created them three personas or two personas, busy moms or things like that, we are going to come to that point. And uh, we might also have administrator who is looking after all my uh, products, who is adding products on my website, who is uh, removing products from my website. Okay, so this is the site administrator. Then we have courier company. So the courier company, delivery company that is attached to our website, they are going to update our website, our users that the product or the delivery has been processed or things like that. Then we have the CEO. Now the CEO of the company, which is me, uh, I want different sales reports. 
आई एम नॉट एन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर आई एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर इज डिफरेंट सो आई वॉन्ट सेल्स रिपोर्ट्स सो आवर वेबसाइट और आवर वेब स्टोर इट माइट हैड सम फीचर बिल्ट इन दैट इट कैन शो मी मंथली सेल्स एंड ईयरली सेल्स और वीकली सेल्स थिंग्स लाइक दैट देन वी हैव आवर स्टॉक मैनेजर स्टॉक मैनेजर इज अ सेपरेट पर्सन हु इज मैनेजिंग ऑल द स्टॉक सो दीज काइंड ऑफ पेंट्स वी हैव वेरी लो स्टॉक एंड ही नीड टू ऑर्डर मोर सो स्टॉक मैनेजर इज एक्चुअली टोटली डिफरेंट वर्क रोल सो यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड डोंट ट्राई टू फॉर गेट अबाउट द वर्क रोल्स डोंट जस्ट ओनली फोकस ऑन द यूजर्स बट ऑल द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ वर्क रोल्स दैट आर गोइंग टू बी इंटरेस्टेड इन योर इन यूजिंग योर सिस्टम और प्रोडक्ट सो इनफ टॉक अबाउट परसोनाज आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू माई परसोना विच आई क्रिएटेड एंड आई एम गोइंग टू ऑल्सो शो यू अ वेबसाइट वेयर यू कैन क्रिएट अ ऑनलाइन टूल अ परसोना दे हैव वेरी ग्रेट टेम्पलेट्स सो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट लेसन